This is the Canon 300mm f4 L lens. It's not mine. I bought it for somebody else, but hey, somebody's got to make sure it works. Attached to the lens is something that I actually do own, the Canon 40D. I thought I might as well test the lens on this camera and give you my short thoughts on a cheap camera, expensive lens, wildlife setup. This is the original 300mm f4 L AF lens and not the later fancy versions. It can be had at a good price considering the pro quality. I love these kinds of setups because they offer an alternate upgrade path to new photographers. Rather than spending all your money on a great camera with a poor lens, you can spend money on a fantastic pro level lens and catch up on the camera bits later. For example, this Canon 40D runs from about 50 to 100 bucks USD, and this Canon 300 millimeter F4 L lens runs from four to 500 USD. That means for 450 to 600 bucks, you get what photographers were drooling over 15 years ago. Just go pick up a Game Boy Color and Razor scooter while you're at it and you'll be set. But seriously, this is the route I would recommend. I don't know about the Canon 40D or even Canon specifically, but more just spending your money on a great lens and using the leftovers for a body. This camera is good though. The Canon 40D has burst shooting, a surprisingly good autofocusing system, decent low light performance, and comfortable ergonomics. The Canon 300mm f4 lens is sharp wide open, focuses quickly, and lets in loads of light for the reach. It is truly the lens that makes the bigger difference and besides, the Canon 40D sensor might be dated, but it's no chump. Using the combination was a joy for the little bit that I had it. I of course played with it in my backyard, but I also took it out on my mountain bike to find some owls and really test its capabilities. Not only was I lucky enough to spot a barred owl on my trip, I also saw something I have never seen before, a young barred owl fluffy and small. I was happy to find that the camera and lens performed flawlessly to capture this unique moment before it passed. Even the old 10 megapixel sensor held up great to pushing the exposure and shadows and cropping in a fair bit. Okay, I said this video would be a little short, but I didn't have too long with this lens. What do you think? Would you get less resolution and features in a camera body just to get a better lens? Or do you have a different perspective to share? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Stop by the community forum to join a growing community of photographers focused on the joy of photography. Follow me on Instagram to see what I'm shooting with lately. And remember to go out there and shoot wherever you are with whatever gear you have. And until next time, happy snapping.